Control Alt Ego takes place in the far flung future, long after humanity's ambition of decoding and digitizing consciousness has been fulfilled. You play a disembodied consciousness, or ego, that transmits itself between various devices and robots in order to take control of them and exploit their capabilities. Who you are, why you're there, and what you're supposed to be doing is initially all a bit vague as you take your first steps, or hops, with your backstory gradually fleshing itself out through the discovery of fragments of information located on pads, terminals, and computers. Meanwhile, an equally mysterious enemy appears determined to terminate your voyage of self-discovery. However, in Control Alt Ego, death is not the end. Your ego always lives on. Look for something else to control and on you go. A more conventional save reload system exists in case you refuse to accept your true nature. Not too far into the main campaign, you'll become acquainted with the protagonist bot of sorts, Bug22, a bug robot with an upgradable arm. But you're not limited to controlling Bug22 alone. You can continue to transmit yourself around and control all manner of other robots with different exploitable skill sets. The sheer number of options available to you is therefore staggering. You can play aggressively, stealthily, strategically, experimentally, pacifistically, or any combination thereof. There are achievements to reward role-playing a particular playstyle for the entire campaign, but you're encouraged to ignore those on a first run and just go with your instinct. You really can play it your way. Gameplay-wise, it's a deep, complete, unique, immersive sim with unparalleled focus on player freedom. If that just sounds like buzzwords, try hybrid of first-person open-ended puzzler and first-person shooter. It's honestly not all that easy to pin down because there are novel systems and mechanics and it's largely up to you exactly how you choose to engage with them. It's very much its own thing, not a clone of the classic immersive sims, instead offering a new twist on the emergent gameplay design philosophy. The game deliberately messes with several gaming conventions. There are no polite character controllers or slick animations here. You're really supposed to feel like you, your consciousness, is crammed inside the robots. Everything is physics driven, including your arm, tools, weapons and movement, which makes for abundant opportunities to get creative. So if you think you're ready for a gaming experience unlike anything you've encountered before, if you value substance over style, if you've been hankering for a true immersive sim, then this is it. You just found it.